and, and sometimes it can be like, oh, this is a bit heavy. It's a bit dour, you know, all the things we can't do. Is God just trying to rob us of our fun? And, and, and then Jesus tells one of the most beautiful parables. It's one of the most beautiful stories. It's one of the most beautiful truths in the Bible. And, um, and it's a story, obviously, he told lots of times in different contexts and situations. And if you know the Bible well, you might know this story from, from Luke 15 in, in a different context. But Jesus puts it into the context of people who stumble. And he says it, it's, it's like God's, God's like a, a shepherd who has a hundred sheep. And when he loses one, he actually goes after the one. And when he finds that one, he rejoices and celebrates more than the 99 that are all there. It's the one who's lost that he's focused on. And he's kind of saying that when you when you stumble, you know, and you've got these challenges of cutting this out of your life and uh, this challenge of don't be somebody else's regret or cause someone else to stumble. And it's because you're so precious. It's a big deal because you're a big deal. And God said, because when you're lost, when you're strained, when you're going down the, the wrong track, actually God's eyes and attention come to, straight towards you because you're so precious, because you're so valuable. And, and in a way, the, the, the 99 who are behaving well, the 99 who haven't got a problem, actually God's eyes almost, I mean, it's only a metaphor, it's almost his eyes stray from them and they go on to the person who stumble. And sometimes when we stumble, when we're involved in things that are unhelpful, harm, we beat ourselves up. We think that God loves us less. We think that God is less focused on us. We think that God bothered about the kind of good people, the perfect people, the church people, the leaders or whoever it might be. But the passage says, actually, God's focused is, is on, on the one who's missing. You know, when my kids were younger, Tom and Emma, when they were younger, if we were in a supermarket and Emma got missing and didn't know where she was and Tom's by my side. I don't think, well, I've still got one kid. That's absolutely fine. I haven't lost one. No, no, my heart, my attention is over the lost one. Yeah, almost you disregard the one you've already got because all your attention is the one that lost. And it's like, I've got to find the lost one. That's where your focus has gone. If, if you've got £200, you've got 10, 20 pound notes and you look in your wallet and one's missing. You've only got 180. You think, well, where's the missing one? You don't focus on 180 you've got. Your heart's like, I've lost it. Where's it gone? That's where your attention goes. And so if you're somebody who's stumbled, if you're somebody who's lost, it's saying actually God's heart is towards you. I mean, he loves everybody, but the metaphor is he's so focused on you. He's so focused on you coming back because you're so precious that it's a big deal because you're a big deal. 